Yesterday, I talked about approval of others and how that is a, a sad and an empty promise over a lifetime. Today, I want to talk about approval of yourself, and that is something that is, is tied in with the other. We are so critical of ourselves. You are one of a kind, my friend, one of a kind. Just like your fingerprint is unique, your hair DNA is unique, you are unique. And you have God-given abilities to, to make yourself something special in this life. May God help you to express and define yourself as a one-of-a-kind individual. In Psalms 139, verse 13 and 14, the Bible says, You made all the delicate inner parts of my body and knit me together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous. So, are you your worst critic? Probably so, aren't we all? Are you constantly trying to transform yourself into the person that meets others' expectations? If so, maybe it's time to be a little bit more understanding of the person that you see when you look into the mirror. Millions of words have been written about the various ways to improve self-image and increase self-esteem. We have our own CD on this, and it's a top seller. And the reason it's a top seller is because it's so needed. You maintain a healthy self-image by doing three things. Obeying God. And that means to see yourself the way that God sees you. Two, have faith. Don't look just to circumstances and what you're involved in in the moment. See the big picture. And number three, finding a purpose for your life that pleases your creator and yourself. And that purpose will be slightly higher about what you can do in your concepts of what you can do and believe that you can do than you temporarily believe. Because God always thinks higher and better of us than we do. The next time you look in the mirror and you see only flaws and only failures, Lighten up. God created you, and God only does good things. And God has done a very good thing when you were created. It's fine to want to be your best, but remember also that God accepts you and loves you, faults and all. There is no better comfort than that, that realization that God has your back and your sides and your front, <laughs> every part of you, because you're one with God. And realize that the great things that you want to do, you won't be doing alone. God will come through you to do them with you, as you. God bless you.